Hey guys, welcome back to your tutorial series for Objective C. And if you're just getting into it, we're going through some of the basics of if else statements and functions. And today we're going to be going through the nested if function. And if you're unfamiliar with if the if else, go back to the previous tutorial. We're actually going to just do a quick brief overview of what we did in the last tutorial just to refresh your memory and then jump into the nested. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the last if else statement that we wrote, the function. And basically we we're validating if somebody's age was let's say 18, equal to 18, then we would report you're eligible to vote, else you're ineligible to vote. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add another integer, another variable in there that uh, is going to be rank. And with rank, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pretending like we're inside of a game. We're developing a game and we want to tell the individual if their rank is this, we'll let you in. If it isn't this, we won't let you in. And then at that point, we'll, we'll validate their age as well. So let's go ahead and establish our rank variable and let's just put it at 11 right now. And then let's also develop another variable and let's just have it as age and we'll put 35 all right okay so we're gonna go ahead and start writing our if else and also nest in our if else as well so what our game is gonna do what our prompt is gonna say is if your rank is greater or is less than or equal to 10 so we're gonna go if rank is less than or equal to 10 we're gonna relay a message to them we're gonna put an ns log and the ns log is gonna say you do not qualify for our elite team yeah that's right all right semicolon and we're gonna follow that up with an else statement here. So at this point we're saying if you don't even if you don't even have a rank of 10 or greater, sorry, you can't even come into our site. You can't even come in and check out our game. So we're gonna continue that with a nested if else because we want to add in this age. Because basically as we've already qualified them on their rank, we also want to qualify them on their age and say, okay, yeah, if you're maybe over 30 years old, you're a veteran to this game. We love you for that. Welcome. If you're not, you're a noob. Sorry, 29 years or older, you're a noob at this point. So, we are gonna continue on with the under the else there, put in another if, and then we're gonna fill in the condition of age is less than or equal to 29, Finish that up with our brackets there. And we are going to relate to the people who are less than or equal to 29. We're going to say, welcome, elite team noob. And we're going to grant them access. Now, at this point, we're going to follow up with our nested else. And at this point, the else is going to be anyone who is actually greater than or equal to 30 so we don't actually have to write that the else here if I can get my cursor there we go and we're gonna relay a message to them as welcome elite team veteran alright okay so we've got that in place uh, I've got a few errors here what have what do we got going on here Oh, let's finish up with the bracket. Okay, and we did forget our uh, final quotation mark there. And so we'll go ahead and wrap those up. And so let's go ahead and validate this and test it. So let's keep our rank at 11, or age at 35. And let's go ahead and run the program. And so what we get is uh, building failed. Okay, there we go. We got the wrong bracket there. All right, so we're going to close out the nested part here. This L statement here, we should be good. Let's go ahead and run again. And we should get 
Wow, that took forever. We should get a welcome elite team veteran. And so, so you wonder, like, how, how did we actually get to that? And if you look at where, where the welcome elite team veteran is, we'll work back from that. Okay, so we have an else. So that means it didn't meet this requirement. It was not equal to less than or equal to 29, which is exactly the case in this. 35 should be greater, which then is going to throw this right here. Now we go up into here, and this nested if else statement is correlated to this else up here. So that means it was, uh, it was not equal to less than or equal to 10. So that means it was greater than 10, which is the case again, and that's why we got to the welcome lead team member. So now let's see what happens if we change our rank to, let's say, an 8, which is less than or equal to 10. So we should get this, and that's it. It, shouldn't, it won't go any further down to this if-else statement, this nested statement. So let's run it there. And as you can see, you do not qualify for our elite team because the rank is not great enough. So let's do one more test just to make sure it's all running correctly. Let's go rank of 12 and our age is 21. And let's build and run that. I don't know why it's flipping out on us. But uh, now we have a welcome elite team noob. So again, we have our age is less than or equal to 29, which it is. So we are getting the message, welcome elite team. So hopefully the nested if else is making sense to you guys. You know, try it on your own systems. Make sure you got the processes down before you go into the next else if um, that we'll be going through uh, in the next tutorial. So subscribe, let us know what you're looking for, and we'll try to help you out with that. All right, catch you guys later.